Hi everyone, welcome, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this tarot read. So I'll let you know too, this is going to be a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. That's just fine guys. Uh, you might even find this sort of uh, bits and pieces feel right to you. Take whatever messages do feel right. Those are going to be the ones that are meant for you. We have Healer of the Ages here. Also at the end of this read, we are going to draw a tarot token. This is going to be like our energy card for the day. Healer of the Ages. You know, I see in this Healer of the Ages, I see like some sort of a dramatic change, like something starting one way and then becoming another. And then we got the angel of balance too. It's like something is going to be coming back into balance here. Something is going to be evened out. I do believe this is going to tie into finances. And this is almost like, now this is almost like a karma thing. Is the vibe that I'm getting from this read. Because uh, I'm getting, I'm getting like door to spirit. Healer of the ages, it does have a, a very spiritual vibe to it too and sort of like an otherworldly vibe same with that six chakra that is like your third eye that is like your third eye there's like something spiritual being involved here we got a lot of chakras i mean like somebody is getting back into balance somebody is moving in a way that creates good karma for themselves i do feel like there is a change coming in that way it's like somebody carried themselves a certain way they carried themselves with like truth, honesty, integrity, those core values, creating good karma for themselves. And I do feel like there's some sort of a change coming as a reward to that. But I keep feeling like there's, there's like another side, like a balance. Like it's not just this person. It's like there's a secondary energy. So like the scales were sort of, they're sort of like this. And now they're going like this, like something's changing. And somebody who caught the shit end of the sick is about to be getting the better end of the deal and the person who sort of moved in a dishonest way is sort of be moving going to be moving back into the financial constraints and going to be moving into uh the lesser end of things here the temple path see it's like somebody moved somebody moved in a very honest way somebody is very much in touch with their spirituality with with the universe with karma somebody understands that you get back what you put out into the world and they're very careful about what they do to earn that good karma. They're very careful not to cause situations uh, where they're being negative to other people or causing that bad karma. And because that, this is where this change is coming, contract. This might even be something involved in the court system too. Caring connection. That this caring connection is something, I, I see like past energy in it. I don't feel like this is uh, a current positive connection i feel like at one point it was a positive connection i do feel like now it's like separating like it's a it sort of i think it came to an end it's and i don't want to say that it was like really negative or it was really heartbreaking but it's it there isn't that love anymore there isn't that positivity anymore there isn't that genuine uh back and forth balance of caring and you feel like that's what's part of come to an end and i do feel like one party carried themselves in like this spiritual and enlightened way and the other party did not and i do feel like patience is going to be rewarded patience trust in the universe trust in balance trust in karma is going to be rewarded and somebody who carried themselves in a positive way who's well aware of spirituality and that we get back what we put out that person is going to be getting the positive end of this. And the person who did not move in that way, I do feel like they moved in a hurtful way, they made hurtful choices, that is going to be balanced out too. And I do feel that finances does play a role in this too. And somebody sort of uh, who got left in a bad financial spot, that's going to be changing. Because I do feel like they earned the good karma and they had the patience and the trust in the universe that whatever truth had to come out about people's behavior, about pe people's choices would help to balance things out. And I do believe they're going to be rewarded with that. They do have a broken heart nonetheless. This situation, this was a caring connection at one point. It very much was. And so it's, it's not easy where the heart is involved. And, and yes, somebody's going to be getting a balancing here and somebody's going to be getting some good karma here, but it doesn't change the fact that they have this emotional hurt that they're still having to work through. 
we do have cornucopia. I do believe cornucopia is representing uh, the positivity that this person is going to be receiving. This is like representative of the abundance and the good karma that is coming their way. Do you believe this is based on choices? This read is going to be talking a lot about choices and what choices get you and being careful about your choices. And the person who moved in a positive way understands this. Me saying this to them is kind of like a broken record because they already lived their life like this. This is like their philosophy that they lived their life on. Uh, being a positive person, treating others with respect and dignity, moving with honesty and integrity is important to them. And having that faith and trust in the universe that everything is going to be evened out. I do feel like they've been in a time where they've sort of been in like this hermit mode, very introspective. I feel at times they felt like eight of swords and feeling like sort of trapped in the thoughts, wondering why this person who they did have a caring connection with, this person who they thought of as a true partner, uh, would behave in the way that they did, would move in such a negative light. I also feel at the same time they're not going to let it hold them back or cause them to behave negatively or live negatively in the world that yes it takes time to heal but in the meantime they're they're not just going to go around uh sort of arguing with other people and causing trouble everywhere else and going out of their way to make trouble for this person either fairness is important to them they just want what's fair and then they want to sever ties and move forward and move on with their life. This eight of cups, uh, move forward, start a new journey, heal and move on from the past. Ooh, lots of secrets here. A whole shit ton of secrets. The high priestess, the moon. And this is speaking to the other person's choices. Uh, to things that they've possibly been hiding, trying to hide, or they did hide and it came out. Those secrets... And their behavior, their choices are going to play a part in this. Because they did earn themselves bad karma. And it is going to play a part in things becoming even this wheel of fortune turning. Because they put themselves in a very dishonest way. They put themselves sort of up above. Where they were in a better spot financially. They sort of benefited from this, this coming to an end in some way, shape or form. But not in an honest way. It wasn't like an even separation and making sure they weren't taking too much. And that everybody had enough and we could just sort of move on and move forward. It was like making it a big fight. It was being dishonest. It was trying to take too much. And I do feel like that's going to get turned. That's going to get turned. The other party who earned the good karma, again, cornucopia is what they're going to get. They're still stealing, or still dealing with the heartbreak, but they are going to get this, this certain amount of wealth of cornucopia here. The magician card says, you know, we, we manifest our own lives. We manifest what we have in our lives, our situations. And I do believe he's also speaking to the karma that this person understands. They have this deep level of understanding with the universe that uh, if they move in this positive way, if they have faith, if they have patience, everything will come balanced out in the end. And it will. It will. With that high priestess too, that is the universe playing its part and also the world card too. So you getting back what you put out in as uh, sort of that faith in the universe, all that hard work is going to pay off in rewards, earning that good karma, not moving uh, with, with anger, not moving with selfishness in this world. It's like the universe sees all. She sees everything that's going on. And when you move in this positive way, you're going to get positive results. You're going to get those positive rewards. Uh, if you're an asshat and you move in a negative way, you're going to get equal rewards. But this situation, this situation is coming to a close. There's going to be some sort of like that, that contract card. It's like justice. It's coming to a close where things are going to be balanced back out. Uh, and, and we're going to have this, this closure, this ending, this chance to sever ties and move on and move forward with a new chapter of our life. Move away from somebody who was who was selfish and who was negative. I feel like that person is, is definitely in, I see this like King of Wands energy. I just see like a lot of anger. So when this ending comes about, because this person is going to get some bad karma for what they did, they're going to be pretty pissy about it. I do feel they're going to be pretty pissy about it. Uh, I see that that Knight of Cups is definitely for the person who moves with honesty and integrity. This is going to be an emotional victory. This is going to be like... Not just vindication, but like validation too in this this trust in the universe, in their faith, uh, in in them moving in this positive way and trusting that it'll it'll balance things out. And this Ten of Pentacles is like the cornucopia. It's it's not just the wealth that they're gonna receive, like 
physical or monetary because I do believe that there's going to be money here. There's going to be money changing, uh, a financial situation changing for the better for one and not so much for the other. But I also feel like this is speaking to deep down inside sort of that chance. Like you said, that, that validation, that vindication, uh, that chance to, to truly heal, sever ties and move on and know that this is this is done. Karma has been dished out. Justice has been dished out. And we can now truly let go and move forward and move on and have that closure. That closure is very important because somebody got hosed. When this, when this came apart, somebody moved in a very greedy way and left somebody in a bad spot. They took more than they had a right to. And somebody wound up financially really in the shit. And that is going to be changing. And I, I do feel like it's going to be like a 180. So it's not just like a balancing made even where both people are on an even keel. I feel like it's going to flip. Like the coin is going to flip. And the other person is going to be experiencing the other end of that. They're going to sort of go from like, they're going to go from this energy, almost like King of Pentacles, where they have this wealth, they have all of this, where they get totally flipped around. And now it's like the other side, the other person is going to have that they're going to have their nine of Pentacles energy, this, this independence, this abundance, this happiness, this healing, this moving forward. And, and the star cards like clarity sitting in the middle, it's like somebody being able to see that, that, okay, well, I probably did this to myself because of all the lies, because of whatever they did, their negative behavior, their, because uh, on some level it was like stealing because they took a whole lot of what didn't belong to them instead of splitting it evenly. Whereas if they just would have split it evenly or not took as much, it would have been balanced evenly. It's because of their behavior that now it's, now it's going to go the other way. So they did make this happen. They did make this happen. And I do feel like somebody having this partnership come to an end. Finally having that closure. Uh, there is going to be a reason for, for one person to celebrate. And, and not, not even like a ha-ha in your face, you got your bad karma kind of thing. For this person, it's more personal it's more like yes I finally have my closure I finally have what I deserve you know I've had this justice this is like a win for them personally and that it's not even taking into account the other person getting their hand slapped for their crap this is more about them and and being like I have this now I have what I need I have what I deserve I have my closure I can walk away I can finally walk away and rebuild now sever those ties like the six of swords says sever the ties move on from stormier times to calmer ones this is a time to leave this in the past when this justice comes behind their triumph their success their victory and the ten of swords you know it's i'm gonna say it too as like this person the way this came apart and someone being extremely selfish it was very hurtful I was going to say financially it kind of worked out for somebody else better in the end because when this gets settled in court, they're actually going to wind up with more than what they would have if somebody wouldn't have been a selfish dick. So that person kind of shot themselves in the foot and put themselves in a really bad spot. Like I said, if they would, if it would have just been even Steven right from the beginning, nobody looking to screw each other over, everybody just looking to evenly part ways, everything would have been balanced. But it was because of their choices, it's because of their behavior that now this is going to go the other way and they're about to wind up with this financial constraints that party who moved in a dishonest way is going to wind up with that five of pentacles that left out in the cold that bad financial spot because of their choices that's how it had to balance out now it had to go farther the other way and they are going to have to give a lot financially a lot and somebody's going to be pretty pretty pissed like I said, I could feel it in, in that, that King of Wands energy, like anger, and like really given stink eye. Like somebody's going to be super angry here, but it's going to allow somebody else to sever those ties, to move on, to move forward, to rebuild. I feel like they don't want, they don't want anger towards the past. They just want the past over with. Like the person who has that deep spiritual understanding, they recognize that you know, laughing at the person who's now getting their bad karma doesn't help anything. Being angry at them doesn't help anything. Just wanting to sever ties, leave it behind, call it done and move on and move forward. Because they just sort of evolved past all of those sort of like 
you know, those petty emotions. They just don't want none of that. They just want it done. They just want it done. They want their life back. They want to move on and move forward and just close this chapter. Have that death card, right? That ending, closing the door and moving on and moving forward. So we do have, we have a tarot token here. And it is the High Priestess. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I feel in that High Priestess card or er, coin. This coin applies to the energy of the person who is very well aware of karma. This person who is moving with honesty and integrity in their lives. This is somebody who is uh, spiritually, uh, mentally and emotionally more evolved than a lot of other people. Definitely than this partner that they had in the past. This is somebody who is elevated and evolved on their journey in their universal path on in life. It's somebody who has that deeper connection. And I have this distinct impression that this person is going to receive many years of abundance in many different ways as well. So not just, I know there's this financial change coming to them, but I also feel like personally, emotionally, and spiritually, this person is just going to have a lifetime of abundance. And it's because they've evolved to this certain point to have this connection in life, this understanding with karma, with the world around them. It helps them to manifest this kind of happiness and abundance in their life. Alrighty, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that read. If you did, uh, feel free to hit that like, that subscribe. It helps the channel out and leave a comment if you want. I love hearing from you guys. Take care.